is very akin to us. It's we have a very special relationship to the ocean. In Kumulipo and in Hawaiian society, everything is dependent on the generation that uh, precedes it, and so our relationships with with the generations before us, you know, gives us a sense of one line, one line, one relationship. And this relationship is not broken. I really appreciate what you did. Um, you know, oftentimes, as you mentioned, you know, when people come to Hawaii, they take what they can from the culture in a way that benefits them. And uh, it's very rare that they'll leave something behind that actually um, not only recognizes something in Hawaiian history, like the Kumulipo, but actually honors it. And I really think that that's what you did, is um, you we're in awe and in respect of our culture and rather than just making it you know another symphonic piece you really just embraced something here and made something extremely beautiful out of it. The 13th International Coral Reef Symposium has been an incredible week. Um, we've had uh, over 1,500 oral presentations and talks, another 700 plus poster presentations, and a lot of workshops, about 45 additional workshops going on. Um, I think it's been a fantastic week in doing the two things we really set out to do, was to build a better bridge between science and policy, and to really move more effectively from knowledge to action. Uh, knowledge to action, not just the typical science, uh, science of needs and uh, nerds and geeks, but rather trying to look at social sciences and economics and cultural elements and management. Uh, this has been broader than most. We've had uh, close to 2,500 participants, a much broader group than ever before, and a real focus in on solutions for the first time. That's just uh, identifying problems and also the implementation of these solutions. A lot of things make me hopeful. Uh, you ha kind of have to be an optimist to work on the Coral Reef Challenge. And, and conservation is tough in a lot of the places where more of the reefs are. So I've been encouraged by all the amazing things that people are doing at the community level. And so despite the global challenges that reefs face from climate change and other global stressors, if you want to feel more optimistic about coral reefs, then you need to stand on your head because it looks a lot better from the bottom up than it does from the top down. I believe that we're at a point where we cannot just shut humans out of the environment and there are cases where humans are very close to that environment and we should empower that. Empower that to, to make our communities healthier, bring our people close to each other by getting closer to the earth. Well, hope for the issues we face from an ecological standpoint uh, relative to the health of our earth. Um, I think my participation over these, this past year in preparing um, the work which uh, Brother Anders has, has written, has um, sparked in me a kind of like an insight that uh, we are not going to forget those that came before us and the wealth of knowledge and intuition and even though they were, we were our people were practically stone age, but they had the intelligence enough to understand what is important to the good health of the earth. A lot of musicians I meet in many countries, I've worked in 27 different countries, they're just eager to use their music as a way to create more awareness and compassion for our natural environment and uh, to really feel the sanctity of our planet. Music and art are a great means of communication, and we recognize that as scientists, that not everybody can read a graph or not everybody likes equations, and that's not a way to communicate to people, but music and art can go beyond transferring information. They can awaken people's passion, and that's what we really need right now. I believe that music has the power to bring people together, and um, that's exactly what we need, is collective action um, to change the way our society um, consumes and uses, and to basically create a world where we live 
with nature as opposed to outside of it. The bottom line is reefs are a legacy for all of us. And I think if we let reefs succumb to the pressures that we're putting on them, we will live in a more impoverished world. As prolific as the Kumulipo has been in our culture, it's unfortunately not really known as well as I think it should be. And when you've used media like art and music to remind people that they have a rich history and that this goes back over generations, it connects them back to that place. And I really think that's an important part of our culture is connecting um, into, the, into the environment to remind us that we're not separate from this place, that it is in our, it is in our blood, it is part of our genealogy and that's where it should be. And your, your piece is an excellent representation of that.